How focused do you feel right now? Do you sleep well? Do you feel stressed? Distracted? Are you ready to make a split-second decision? Are you sure? I do believe that uh, if you're pushed, it's, it's the time where you give your best. Athletes have experienced it. Racing drivers have experienced it in the car where you're sort of not thinking, you're just doing. Driving is a very, very demanding cognitive process. Ford understands that winning races is not just about having the fastest car. There's distractions at the racetrack. Everything tries to get in the way and you've got to be able to somehow separate yourself from that. We believe the next frontier in performance is the mind. We knew that race car drivers are specially trained. They go through their race, you know, with lots of concentration, but we didn't know exactly where we could actually see this in the brain or to what extent mental preparation plays a role in success. For the first time, Ford has used an EEG on drivers to read the electrical signals from the brain. It showed us how professional drivers and everyday people perform under pressure in a racing simulator both before and after mental preparation. So we focused in on a few different techniques that racing drivers use to get in the zone. So one of them was like a, a breathing meditation and a visualization technique using keywords to describe the track ahead. The same brain areas I used during mental performance as they are with physical performance. The experiment is actually quite exceptional using expert drivers, which is a population that researchers don't often have access to, and using also control group of normal drivers. Uh, what we actually find is fascinating. There's this ability of, of a race car driver to be always on. They're switched in, they're using the maximum of their capacity to the task at hand. We were able to witness just how differently the brains function per to members of the public. Traveling at high speed in a state of high focus, the brains perform up to 40% better than you or I. The interesting thing we found was that if we had normal people doing some mental exercise, they also could reach this higher performance. In fact, compared to the control group, we saw up to 50% improvement in performance. It's clear that races can be won or lost in the mind. Based on this research, we're developing a prototype helmet capable of transmitting electrical signals from the driver's brain live to Ford's team during a race. Through this groundbreaking technology, we now have the ability to work with a whole new set of metrics. These findings have the potential to be applied to people everywhere, and we're just scratching the surface.